Professor Siegel mentioned one of my favorite sayings or phrases about nature and nurture, and that is that parents are environmentalists until they have more than one child. So with your first child, you can explain anything environmentally. That's the problem with environmental hypotheses. But when you have more children, you start to say, God, they were different from very early in life. I didn't do that. And you start to take genetics more seriously. What we're trying to say today is genetics is much more important than parents know. Parents don't have as much control as they think they do. So what we're suggesting is to liberate parents from the shackles of this burden of the nurture assumption, making them feel responsible for the way their children turned out. We've talked a lot about parenting, but I want to talk about how troubling I find the idea that DNA is the only or the major systematic force in people's lives. Healthcare is a system, and it's a systematic force for people's lives. Political systems are a system, they're systematic force in people's lives. Economics is a systematic force in people's lives. Structural racism is a systematic force in people's lives. Injustice is a systematic force in people's lives. So I've, I've argued with Robert and Nancy about the scientific um, points in this, but I also want to close by thinking that I think that declaring DNA to be the only major systematic force in people's um, lives isn't only just scientifically inaccurate, but I think it's potentially dangerous in its complacency. Thank <laughs> you.